you guys, it's Cece. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna do something a little different. Have you ever wondered like, what's the rate of actually getting a green pearl? How many oysters does it take to get one or a normal pearl? Well, I went ahead and collected a ton of unopened oysters from Bahari Bay. So we are gonna open 250 of them and see how many it takes to actually get pearls. The first thing we need to do is actually go collect the oysters, of course. So to do that, you're either gonna take the stables and make your way to Bahari Bay, or you can travel there by walking, which is gonna be this path right here. For ease of like use and time, I'm gonna go ahead and use the stables. So we'll go ahead and travel to Bahari. Once we get into Bahari, we're also gonna take the stables to get even closer to where we need to be. As you're foraging along these shores, you're not only gonna find unopened oysters, which do look like this. We're gonna go ahead and pick that up, but you may also find other things like shells or coral, um, or even like different rare or like bugs and things that you may want to catch crabs You may catch those along the way if you'd like for the purposes of this video I was simply looking for oysters. I was collecting anything else that was in the area like coral or any of the shells since you can gift those to people and some of the People in the village like those but it was really looking for oysters so you'll see them as these like bright spots in the water and that's essentially what you are looking for it did take me quite a bit of time to collect the amount that i did to be honest which i do want to mention they have reduced the spawn rate of these oysters a little bit it may be a little bit tougher to find them but it is still worth it to make your way down there and go look for them since you have the chance of getting the pearl and um, green pearls and things like that part of the reason i wanted to actually make this video was to see the rates and see like on average how like what's your chance of getting a pearl or what's your chance of getting a green pearl or any of those things and it looks like i actually found a really good spot along here so not only do you want to look along the shoreline and the coastline but in this uh in this spot as well where it's sandy they also do have the oysters and the shells and things in here so we're going to go ahead and collect everything that we see and you'll see why it actually took so long to pick everything up Through all my foraging, running up and down shores for, uh, I don't, I didn't even keep track of hours, for, but for definitely a few hours, maybe five or so split between things, maybe more, maybe less. With all of that in mind, I have collected 250 oysters and we're going to go ahead and open them. We'll keep track at the end after 250, what we actually get from them. Let's go ahead. So I'm doing the first stack of 10. Oh, we have some quality oyster meat. Okay. We're going to see how much that can sell for as well and we got our first pearl i'll do all the stats afterwards because like i said it's 250 but it looks like the meat sells for 30 so the meat the pearls them like the meat itself doesn't sell for much it's only 9 and 13. so what the oyster meat is actually good for is cooking when we can grill it um the pearls themselves sell for 70 a pearl so that's pretty good we'll see how many more hopefully we can get from here i'm gonna work into the next stack of 30. It's pretty slow down there, so I'm going to move it up here. Okay, it's way faster if I'm not covering it. So I am going to try to open these as quick as I can. So we can't do a mass opening on the pearls. Um, I do have to do these one at a time. But one of the reasons that they are really good to go ahead and make an effort to forge, like you can see from, let's say if I spend, it's like 75 gold that we spend together, for example. If we decide not to run anything on foot and we decide to just travel, one pearl alone sells for 70 so that already right there just being able to get one is pretty good i do suggest when we go down there we got our first green pearl which sells for 145 that's really good hopefully we can get some more of those that's my first green pearl that i've gotten at least we got one and that's only working into our second stack here so that's not so bad but i do suggest um as i said if you are going down to bahari bay and you're going for oyster foraging and you're trying to get as many as you can keep your big relatively empty like keep yourself fed because you want the bonus of course for foraging you may as well anytime you're doing anything make sure that you're you've eaten and that your focus is up so that you can get the bonus in there other than that though keep it relatively empty because the oysters will only stack up to 30 in your slot so for each slot in your inventory 30 is the max and if you're going to make the effort to make your way down there you probably want to stay around and collect as many as you can what I do suggest as well is like I showed you how you can start on Beachcomber Cove and work your way up Coral Shores, just going up and down there because there is a respawn period and you want to be able to try to catch them as they respawn. So I do like to stay in the area. Oh, not that. So 
So I do like to stay down there for a good period of time. Like that's how I got these oysters was going back and forth on those shores over and over and over. Now that they've reduced the rates, I'm not sure how much longer it would take to get them, but so we're up to three green pearls. I'm like rates wise and like in terms of rarity, I would hope we would be, I feel like saying 10 is too optimistic, but at least five, right? I don't necessarily suggest this as a get rich <laughs> method looking at this so far. Um, I did this more of a challenge and more of a curiosity to sake to see how much you can actually get from a larger amount of these oysters. So every time I would collect them, I would just hang on to them, go to Bahari Bay every so often while I'm leveling other things or doing other quests, make the effort to get down there when I could. I was like, I'm going to save these oysters and use them in a video and see what we can actually get from them. And I am going to see what we can actually sell this for after as well. Like if we did sell all the pearls, I'm down to my last two stacks. So rarity wise, um, I've had a few people asking me like, where do you get green pearls? What's the frequency of them? And looking at this, it seems like they are pretty rare considering. Now the benefit is every oyster that you're opening, you are going to get oyster meat regardless. Nice. We have another green pearl. So I'm into my last stack of 30 here now. I don't think I'm going to quite make it to my hope of 10. And last pearl. All right, just oyster meat. From opening 250 oysters, we got 213 regular oyster meat. We got 37 quality oyster meat. We got 33 pearls and we got seven green pearls. Out of curiosity, if we did try to sell everything, let's see how much we'll actually make. So I don't think selling these ones, I, I guess that's not too bad. Like selling the oysters. So this is 230 oyster, 213 oyster meat, 1,917. Although these ones I will use for cooking versus selling as it's only nine a piece. Not really that worth it. The quality ones though, if we're adding in, we're up to just under 2,400. The pearls themselves. So as I said, it's 70 a piece for the pearl. And then it's 145 for the green pearls. So if it was to sell, say, all the pearls and the green pearls. So 5,723. I do think there are better and easier ways to make money, especially with that little bit of a nerf to the oysters. But in terms of just the pearl selling, let's say if we kept the oyster meat, 3,325. That's pretty good. I am going to hang on to them. And as I said, I think it would make more sense to make your money elsewhere based on how much time it took me to actually collect them. Out of our 250 unopened oysters, we did get seven green pearls, which was about a 2.8% chance. And we got 33 of the regular pearls, which was 13.2% of a chance to get those. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I said, although I don't recommend it for making money to go oyster foraging, I do think it's fun. And that is where you will find those green pearls, which you may be looking for. There are other faster, easier ways to make money but it was still fun to take a look and see how it went. Comment down below and let me know if you were able to find any green pearls or if you plan to do some foraging of your own for some oysters. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future paleo videos as well. That's it for me, so bye. Next level.